Swole Benji here. Today I'm going to show you one of the better classes that you can use, the Bard for Chaos Dungeons. Now, Chaos Dungeons are just a big farm AoE fest, but the Bard makes it lazy and easy, and I'm going to show you how to do it, because you should already have a Bard for carrying purposes and raids, which you got to do your Chaos Dungeon dailies, and here's what you're going to use to carry yourself through the Chaos Dungeons. Now, a lot of people want you to use dissonance, which is fine, but it's not fast. It's not the highest DPS skill. It's it's. I think it's a complete waste. You don't need it. There's way better skills. I'm gonna go over them. Okay, you got stigma. All right, you're going to use these skill points right here, and that's gonna give you the most damage and and range on your attack. Sonic vibration, same thing. This is mostly for boss killing inside the chaos dungeon. Uh, you're going to use soundaholic, of course, for more boss killing potential. Prelude of storm. Eventually, you want to get Powerful Prelude. This is super good. I don't have enough skill points yet for it. I still gotta keep playing the game and leveling up my character, okay? Heavenly Tune, you want that damage buff. This is also a really strong damage buff. This makes you cast insanely fast. It's really good for damage. Prelude of Death is the best ability possibly in the game for Chaos Dungeons, because what this does, this will send out three area of effect attacks, dealing tons of damage, cursing the enemy, they will take a fourth hit of damage, and if they die from that fourth hit of damage, or they die while they are cursed, they will explode, and then they will deal damage to a nearby enemy, okay? Uh, and then Harp of Rhythm, uh, eventually at some point you want to get Explosion level 1, I don't have enough skill points, and then Giant Harp, and that's going to give you way more automatic AoE damage, okay? For your ultimate, use Ortario, or you can use Symphonia, it's completely fine, it doesn't really matter, alright? Uh, for gear, uh, I just I just use my set that I use for supporting raid dungeons. You can check out that video on my channel. I think it was uh, the last video I uploaded. Uh, I believe the title of that video is How to Carry Groups as a Bard in Lost Ark. So go on my channel, check that out. I just use the same gear and the same engravings as I do in that video. It's not important. You don't need it. It's a Chaos Dungeon, okay? So I'm going to do the highest level Chaos Dungeon that my gear score can afford, which is the 1000 in Phaeton Tier 2. No, I don't want to match make. What am I doing? I want to do it solo. Okay, yeah. <laughs> if you do it match made, um, the monsters have more HP. It's just a waste of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chill here in the middle. And I'm going to wait until a bunch of mobs... You can do this any way you want. I'm just going to let a bunch of mobs just pile on top of me, right? Then I'm going to press my Prelude of Death. That's going to curse everyone in range. And, well, I'm just going to die. So, because I overgear this. And now, because that's on cooldown, I'm just going to run away and use whatever other abilities I want. I can use Soundaholic. I can use uh, Sound Vibrations. Uh, I can use Stigma, I can stand inside the Stigma, that's going to stun lock everyone that tries to attack me. And my cooldowns are back off, I can run around, let more mobs spawn. Now you may be wondering, I just took a lot of damage. That's completely fine, it doesn't matter, I'm a bard, I have healing magic, okay? So I've cursed everybody, I'm going to hit them with just any other quick AoE, I can also buff my attack power, and that's going to deal tons of damage too. Uh, as long as you curse as many people as possible and then kill at least one of them, it sets off a huge chain reaction. Alright, I'm going to turn off the map. We don't need the map on. Uh, the first little set of Chaos Dungeons, you want to move on as soon as possible so you can maximize the rewards because the boss monsters do drop the better drops. So, I'm going to go ahead and heal myself here. I don't really need to. You can also use, nor remember, you can use your norm normie potions in these dungeons. You don't have to use the craft potions. I'm going to step out of that healing circle because I have uh, Desperate Salvation 3. It'll, it'll heal me whenever it disappears. I'm just going to gather up as many as possible, and there it is. Alright, so now we're going to cast Prelude of Death. Now, I do want to show you a combo here in a bit. Um, normally, that doesn't just kill everybody, but right now it is. Uh, for bosses, you can sound a holic them. You can just dump your, your big AoE spells on them like this, and they will go down pretty quick. You want to, you're mostly, you're corralling as many monsters to you as possible during these Chaos Dungeons, okay? That's your primary goal. Now, I want to, I want, I want you to see something real quick, okay? I'm going to cast Prelude of Death unbuffed. Okay, this is unbuffed. Look at the speed. One, two, and three. So that's how slow it is, unbuffed. Now, here in a bit, I'm going to show you uh, how fast it is combined with Heavenly Tune, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and gather these guys up. I'm going to Heavenly Tune the boss. Now watch how fast it is. One, two, three. It's so much faster. And then I'm just going to hit him with a lightning. That's going to blow everybody up. And we're just going to continue to rinse and repeat. We got plenty of time. Uh, our health is... It doesn't matter what our HP is at because we can fully heal that. No problem. Okay. So I'm just going to hit him with Prelude to Death. And then let them get closer. And then Lightning Storm them. And they're all dead. Isn't that cool? Isn't that fast? Now the boss has spawned. 
And you may be thinking, oh no, the boss. So just dump just dump your AoEs onto the boss. You got Soundaholic if you want, or you can just cast Ontario and he's dead. Basically dead here. There you go. Very fast, very easy. Uh, we didn't get the boss portal or the treasure portal, sadly. So we're on to the third uh, segment. Now, what you want to do is you want to kill as many as possible in as little AoEs as possible. So I'm going to gather them all up. Let them have it with Prelude of Death. Let them just kind of sink in a bit closer. And I guess they're all dead. I didn't have to cast anything. Now, if if I was less geared, I would have to cast, say, a Prelude of Storm. Uh, when, the, when the boss spawns, just dump all your spells. I usually just dump a Soundaholic and, and, and an AoE and they're dead. Right? You want to minimize killing... On stage 3 here, you want to minimize killing as many mobs as possible. Um, and trying to get them to summon the bosses. Because the bosses are the ones that drop the better loot, right? They drop more loot. So, I'm just gathering up mobs. And I'm not worried about my HP because I can just, I can just heal it. I'm, I'm a bard. I can just heal it. There's no danger. Uh, I, you can chug, you can chug normie potions. They're basically free. You get them from mobs. But you want these little rift cores to spawn. And uh, by killing as little regular mobs as possible and getting as many rift cores as possible to spawn, that increases your drops, okay? Um, because you only get two of these a day per character, right? Alright, so getting all the mobs on top of me. Getting them... Well, you can do this very lazily. Like, I, can, I can watch YouTube and do this. Uh, I don't have to really pay attention much. Other classes have to watch their health bar. I don't. I just I can just heal it. And bards, once you get more gear and you have the proper engravings, you can get really tanky, right? These guys are all going to die to the curse. I don't even have to... I can just move on. I don't even have to pay attention to them anymore, right? Now, you can dump other spells, too. You don't have to use Prelude to Death. If you don't like it, you don't have to use it. You can just run around, just cast spells. You don't have to, like, be some tactician master. You can just dump your spells... It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Play however you want, okay? And, uh, uh it, it's just easy. It's this lazy play. Like, this, being a bard is incredibly lazy for Chaos Dungeoning, okay? Now, I'm at 94%. I probably won't get another Rift Core, um, or be able to kill it. But if I do, I could ultimate it so that I get the drops. And there we go. Everything explodes. So that brings it to 98. So this next group is going to definitely give me 4%. So uh, that's pretty much the dungeon. That's pretty much how to do a chaos dungeon. Everything's cursed. I just blew them all up. They all died at once. And uh, look at our drops here. This is from one run. We have so many gems, jewels. Uh, it's pretty darn good. It's, it's actually really, really, really profitable, guys. Anyway, that's how to do chaos dungeons as the bard. It's very simple, very easy. Uh, instead of using my two healing bars, I can s do select level, play this again, and I get to keep these bars. And I can buff my damage if I want, if I need to, but I kind of overgear the content anyway. Guys, I'm Soul Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay soul. If you found this video useful, if it helped you learn how to play Bard, please leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think, let me know what you want to see next. I make a video every single day. I'm actually going to try to start making more than one video a day for Lost Ark uh, in March once I get all nice and moved and everything is situated. Also, I would really appreciate it if you became a channel member. Uh, right below this video, there is a button to click to join the channel membership program. It's $5 a month. I get two bucks out of that five. It really helps me out, uh, helps me Stay away from being homeless, which for those that have been on the channel for a while, remember the van life days, right? Um, I would I would love it if you did. I could share more personal, more private videos, or uh, if I find a huge exploit or something that might break the economy of the game, I don't want to release to the public. I'll definitely release it there for members only. Guys, I appreciate you so much for watching. Thank you so much. Please leave a like. It really helps the video. Show your friends on Discord. Uh, thank you so much. Mwah. I'll see you tomorrow.